Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a Dyson Airwrap hair tutorial style video. I haven't filmed one of these for quite a while so I thought it was about time I gave you an updated version. I always get a few questions on how I do my hair and how I do my makeup. So I filmed a recent um, kind of get ready with me where I showed you guys my everyday makeup so I thought I would do the same with my air wrap hair. This is obviously the finished product. I'm starting the video after I film the video um, so you guys can see what kind of look this will achieve. This is a very kind of relaxed style video. It's not too formal. Um, I just kind of talk you through what I do. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you wanna see how I get my hair like this and then keep watching. So I have just got out of the shower and I popped, well, I haven't just got out of the shower because I've done my makeup, but I popped this hair turban on, which I adore. It's from the White Company. And I use it literally every time I wash my hair. It's just so good to keep my hair out my face, like while I'm doing my makeup, while I'm tanning. I always find if I put a big towel on my head, it um, just like falls off, but this stays on perfectly. So obviously I've got wet hair now. I normally dry it to 100% before I use the air wrap. I just find that my hair holds the curl better if it's 100% dry. I did try damp curls a few times, but you have to hold the air wrap on the hair for so long and it just doesn't work with my hair. So I am going to dry it. Obviously just brushing it through first. Now, I love this brush. This is from Wet Brush and it is such a good hair brush. Absolutely love it. It may look like I'm pulling my hair quite tight now, but it's really soft and gentle on my hair. It's also really good for drying as well because of these gaps that it has in the back of the brush, it lets the air through. So it dries my hair super quickly. I actually have quite fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it looks a lot thicker than it is, but the actual individual strands are quite fine. But because there is so much of it, it takes a very long time normally to dry. If I leave it and let it dry naturally, it will take a whole day to dry. It doesn't dry naturally quickly at all. So I've just put my hair into a centre parting, which is how I always wear it, as you will know. Um, I'm going to start with a few hair products before I do anything to my hair. First up is this Grow Gorgeous Defence Anti-Pollution Leave-In Spray. As you can see, there's only a tiny bit left, so I've used this whole bottle. It just really protects my hair and gives it that shine, keeps it looking healthy. Next up, my favourite product, Olaplex number no. 6. I use this without fail, every single time I wash my hair, just literally a tiny bit, rub it between my hands, and then just through the lengths and ends of my hair. I try not to put too much towards the top by my scalp because I find that when I dry it, it kind of dries it a bit greasy. So if I work the product through the lengths and the ends, it sits on the hair much better. And finally, I can't do anything to my hair without a heat protectant. This is the Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense. And again, this one's almost finished and I've been using this ever such a lot recently. I ran out of the GHD Bodyguard, which was my go-to, but I love this one just as much. So now that my hair is all prepped and ready, I'm gonna dry it and I'm actually gonna dry it with the Dyson hair dryer. Sorry, I've just angled you slightly better now. I think the lighting is a bit off because I've got my window here. Um, so I think this side of my face is a bit dark, this side is a bit light, can't quite work it out. Anyway, I have the Dyson Air App, obviously, um, which has the hair dryer attachment, but I much prefer using the actual Dyson hair dryer. It dries my hair so much quicker and it's just a bit easier. And I love this kind of thin nozzle. It gives a much smoother finish. I do, if I'm going away on holiday or away for the night, I won't take this and the air wrap, I'll just take the air wrap and it'll make, I'll make do, it's absolutely fine. But when I'm at home, I prefer to use this because it just saves me so much time. So I use it on the highest heat setting and the highest power setting and literally just blast my hair all over, starting at the root. <laughs> So now that my hair is, I'd say, probably about 60-70% dry, I'm just going to give it a brush through with this wet brush and I'm going to use this now to help me blow dry it. It speeds up the process a bit because the brush is kind of like a quick drying brush but it also gives a little bit extra softness, smoothness, a little bit less frizz than if I was just to blast my hair all over. Look 
at this glorious weather. I can't believe the sun has come out, finally. It was so wet on my dog walk this morning. Maple and I got absolutely drenched. But anyway, my hair is nice and dry now, looking nice and kind of soft and smooth because I went through it with the brush when I blow dried. I just find that that means I don't have to use like the smoothing attachment on the air app. Now I normally switch between both the thicker and the thinner barrels. It depends how I'm feeling. I think the last air wrap video I made, I used the thick barrels and I believe I pinned the curls. I can't quite remember. Um, I'm not going to do that today. Sometimes I do still pin the curls, but the reality is I don't have time to do that really anymore. Um, I'm always in a rush. I'm always doing my hair just before I leave the house, so I don't really have time to pin it, let it set and then drop out. I do still do that sometimes if I'm like going out on a weekend and I've got like a couple of hours to get ready, then I will use this bar and pin the curls because I prefer how it looks. But I normally use these thinner barrels now because I get a bit of a tighter curl and I find it holds throughout the day a bit better. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna separate my hair first i literally just do it half up half down and then i'm just going to pop it in a big black claw clip and then just work on the bottom half of the hair first I'm also going to give it another quick spritz of heat protectant you can never have too much of that um and then let's begin so going to pop the thinner barrels on today and obviously use the one that's pointing away from the face for each side of the hair. Unfortunately, I have the older air wrap. This is now getting on for nearly two years old, I think. So I still have the two separate barrels for each way. I believe on the new one, you just turn like a little switch for whichever way you want to curl your hair, but I still have the old one. Um, so I'm going to start right at the back just grab a piece of hair about yay thick i guess that's what probably about an inch and a half it's still quite a thin bunch of hair not too much otherwise the air app just won't hold it ideally i could do with the longer barrels i say this in every single video where i film with my air app but they're always out of stock i can never get my hands on them unless i get them second hand and the markup on them is just ridiculous so i'm just making do with the smaller ones for now i find if i use a small enough amount of hair they work no problem. So I have, again, the air up on the highest heat setting and the highest power setting, and I let it just wrap around the end. Make sure it's nice and secure, and then move it towards my scalp. Normally hold for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Shut off the power whilst the hair is still wrapped around the barrel, and then release, and grab the curl this is what i'm left with a nice bouncy ringlety style curl obviously these will drop out as i go round by the time i'm finished they're a nice kind of like bouncy curl you'll see at the end but i just repeat the same process wrap the hair around move it backwards and forwards a few times and then feed the hair in to bring it nice and close to the scalp. Now as these are a bit short, as you can see there's still a bit of room left between the barrel and my scalp. So I'm gonna bring it all the way in, but the curl kind of does come off the end of the barrel here, but that's not a problem. Shut it off, and then you get a nice bouncy curl. I used to do like a quick blast of the cold shot before letting the curl drop, but I don't feel like that made really any difference to my hair as far as like locking in the curl. I feel like my hair works best with heat. It needs a lot of heat, and I feel like the cold shot it kind of almost unraveled the curl a little bit and made it like less structured, which is not what I need. I need something that is gonna hold. Stop doing that, I literally just use the heat. So I'm gonna repeat on the bottom half of my hair and then I'll come back to you once we get to the top. So this is what the bottom half is looking like. Nice little bit of curl to it. You can see it kind of goes out as well at the root, which is good because it's giving the bottom half a little bit of volume. So now I'm going to take out the top half. 
I just do one side at a time. So I'll do this side first and keep this side clipped up. It's just easier rather than mixing the curled hair with the uncurled hair. Give it a quick brush and spray, of course. And then I just do the same kind of thing, work my way around to the front from the back end of the hair. I will show you what I do when I get to the root as well because I try and give a little bit of extra volume at the root of the hair. So same thing, wrap it around the bottom. Just kind of feed the hair through. Once the barrel is full, I'll kind of hold it to secure the end part of the curl. So this is why I need a longer barrel. And then just move the hair through and really pull on that scalp to create volume. And then there we have it, another curl. And that can go and join the others. And I will rinse and repeat and then show you when I get to the shorter parts that frame my face. So I've just split this front part of hair into two, kind of like a back and a front. Now this is the shorter bit that kind of frames my face a little bit and I do angle the Dyson slightly differently when doing this part of the hair. So same thing applies to wrap the curl around. As I get closer to the scalp, I just move the barrel into a more horizontal position. It just creates more tension on the curl and gives extra volume. And the same applies for the final strand. So there we go. That is one half done. Now I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to brush it out yet. I'm going to do the other half first. And then we'll comb through it together and see what the finished product is like. So obviously just repeat exactly the same on this side of my head and I'll catch up with you when it's done. So that is every last strand on my hair curled, every last strand on my head sorry, um, and it's looking nice and big and poofy and voluminous and to keep it like that and avoid brushing it out I'm not going to use the wet brush. I'm going to actually use this wide tooth comb from Silky. Um, it just kind of keeps the curls in, doesn't create too much tension, doesn't pull them out too much, but stops them from being that kind of like ringlet style. Just going through my hair, run my hands through it as well at the root, give it a little bit more volume. And then the only product that I am going to, actually no, I'm going to put two products on. I'm going to use the Hair by Sam McKnight uh, Modern Hairspray. This is the Multitask Heat Protection Styling Mist. Now obviously I've already used the Moroccan Oil as heat protection. So I'm just going to use this to lock in the curls, hopefully. This stuff smells incredible as well. Such a huge fan of that brand. I have the Deeper Love hair mask, which is one of my favorite hair masks. Then just gonna use a very small amount of the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Just a tiny little drop. I don't know if you can really see that there. Um, run it through my hands and then just through the lengths and ends. I find if I use too much oil, it makes my hair a little bit greasy so I just stick to a very small amount. Another way that I use this oil actually, I did it last night, is if I know I'm going to be getting up and getting in the shower first thing in the morning I will pop a load of this on the lengths and ends of my hair and then just wash it out in the morning so I like sleep in it as kind of like an almost oil hair mask. Once I've washed my hair it leaves it really shiny and silky so love doing that but yeah that is my dyson air wrap hair tutorial i am not a professional hairdresser i just use the dyson how i find best and how i find works best for my hair and the amount of time that i have also if you notice i don't have the filter on this 
Um, it's because it's still a bit wet and I didn't want to put it back on. And I obviously wanted to film this video, so I just used it without a filter and it seemed okay, so. But this is the finished product. And as I said, this lasts pretty much all day unless the weather is very damp and it's raining, then it probably will drop out. But weather provided, this will last most, if not all of the day. And then I'll give it a little top up. I am someone that when I'm at home and I'm chilling or I'm um, editing or whatever, I will just want to put my hair straight up. So that doesn't really help with the lasting effect of the curls. So I do top it up most days. But this is how I do it after it's been washed, kind of like the first day fresh hair. So if you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. If you have any recommendations for hair products or maybe some tips and tricks for me, you can leave those in the comments. If you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and I will see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye.